Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Worship Wednesday. Amen. What a blessing it is once again to be able to come into your hearts and be able to come into your homes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Minister Dolores and Emma. Good morning. Tanzula, good morning. Hey, Angela, good morning. Melanie Rankins, good morning. Jocelyn, good morning. Hey, Shirley. Louise and Tammy Love, Roosevelt Fuller, good morning, guys. Minnie Stewart, good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Johnny and Sheila, Pastor Rosemary, Dominique. Good morning, Aunt Jean. Amen, amen. Good morning, everybody. Sharonda, good morning. Berna, good morning. Good morning, Shell. Good morning. Song says, Jesus be the center. Anybody know you have Jesus as a center of your life? Good morning. Good morning, Christy, Aretha, Denise, Cousin Shirley, Tanya Fuller, Talia. Good morning, everybody. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it kicked off, guys. Thank you so much, Lord God, for this morning, allowing us to be able to enter into your presence. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, for your grace and mercy and favor that is upon our lives. And we pray right now that you continue to lead and guide us, Lord God, and and give us the willpower, the stamina, the resolve to continue to forge through everything that comes our way. Give us the strength, Lord God, um, to stand up to the mountains and speak to the mountains of our lives, Lord God. You didn't tell us to climb and you didn't tell us to go under it. You told us to speak to it, Lord. And we thank you right now. We ask that you, Lord God, would just go before us on this Worship Wednesday. Allow us, Lord God, to feel your presence. Allow us, Lord God, to enter in. Allow us to understand you more clearly. And to know, Lord God, that you have us in position to reach back and help others, Lord God. So, I, I God, I thank you. I bless you and I lift you up. And I just pray right now that we, on this Worship Wednesday, will certainly trust the process. As we are talking about trust issues this week, Lord, that you would help us to truly trust the process. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let me turn my volume up so that we don't get any... All right. All right, guys. Are y'all ready to worship this morning? Good morning, everybody that I haven't spoke to. Um, Alice, Ladora, Katrina, Stephanie Leach, Paula, uh, Citrus, Era. Good morning, everybody. All right. This song says, Jesus be the center. It's a long song, so I'm not going to sing it all. It's going to give you just a, a touch of it this morning. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, nothing else. Matters nothing in this world will do. Oh, bless the Lord, Jesus, you're the center, and everything revolves around you, Jesus. You come on. 
Jesus at the center of it all. Come on, bless the Lord right there. Anybody know that Jesus has to be the center of it all? Jesus be the center of my life. Jesus be the center of my life. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Oh, bless him. Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world would do. Yeah. Jesus, you're the center. And everything revolves around you, Lord Jesus, you. Nothing else matters. Everything revolves around you. How many know that? Come on, bless the Lord. Yes, Jesus, you're the center. And everything revolves around you, Jesus, you. Oh, bless the Lord. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. It's all about you. How many know that today? That is all about our God. It's all about our God today. Oh, bless the Lord this morning. I feel like blessing him this morning. And you ought to give God some praise with me this morning. Oh, hallelujah. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. Yeah, yes. Hallelujah. Jesus be the center of our church. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Jesus be the center of our church. And every knee will bow. And every tongue shall confess you jesus oh come on somebody bless him jesus somebody shout his name jesus come on somebody jesus oh jesus jesus i can say his name all day hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus Jesus, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center, come on somebody bless him right there. Oh, hallelujah. I can bless the Lord all day long. Amen. Y'all don't know my story and everything that I had to go through to get here this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Amen. Sometimes you got to smile. Smile at Satan's rage and face the frowning world. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Let me get some, to, um, to some word this morning. I pray that that blessed you. And I pray that Jesus Christ certainly would be the center of of your life. Oh, how we bless the Lord. How we bless the Lord. Hey, Amen. Look, I was so, I was so encouraged um, myself by my war music that I had yesterday. I'm going to do it again. I may continue to do this. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. All right. Look, I want to give you a scripture. I want to give you a scripture this morning. Of course, it's coming from, um, coming from Genesis 37. 
come from Genesis, the 37th chapter. Amen. Genesis 37. And if you look down at verse 18, Genesis 37, verse 18, it reads like this. Now, now Joseph's brothers saw him in the distance. And before he arrived, uh, they plotted to kill him. Mm, my God. Verse 19, here comes that dreamer. They said to one another, come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. We can say that a vicious animal has devoured him. Then we shall see what becomes of his dreams. Oh, I'm going somewhere this morning. Verse 21, when Reuben heard this, he tried to rescue Joseph from the hands. Let us not take his life, he said. Do not shed his blood. Throw him into, <laughs> throw him into the pit <laughs> in the wilderness, but do not lay a hand on him. Reuben said this so that he could rescue Joseph from their hands and return him to his father. Thank God for the Reubens of the world. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, verse 23, the robe of many colors he was wearing, and they took him and threw him into the pit. Now the pit was empty with no water in it. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this. I, I, simply, I simply want to this morning, just simply this morning talk about trust the process. Trust the process. Um, God, God woke me up early this morning and, and I was laying in my bed um, about 4.15. Um, I woke up, I mean, eyes just wide open. And, and I know it was God that did this because, because uh, there's nobody else that can speak to you like God can. Can I get a witness there? But as I was laying in my bed, uh, I began to hear the sound of rain. Mm, speak, Lord, already. It started as a trickle. And then all of a sudden, the rain began to come down much harder. But I was so blessed to hear something else in the sound of rain. Come on, Lord. I began to hear a bird chirping in the middle of the rain. I'm like, God, what is going on? I began to hear a bird. Actually, his chirp was louder than the sound of the rain. And I was just laying there. I said, God, you're speaking to me this morning. My question to you, you know, you know, guys, I love to ask these pointed questions. What do you do when the rain starts falling and everything starts getting crazy in your life? Will you still be able to worship in the rain? Oh, do I have any folks that know how to dance in the rain? Oh, bless the Lord and worship in the rain. Look, I'm going to write it down. Look, I was just pinning. I had my phone and I was just writing down as, as the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. See, watch this. Uh, uh, watch this. There is a peace and a calm that calms with rain. And as I listened to the rain, as it was falling, God revealed something to me. He says, watch this, the bird doesn't have a roof over his head, but it still was singing in the rain. The bird doesn't have a pillow and a bed, <laughs> but it was still singing in the rain. The bird doesn't have a television or a computer or a phone, but it still was worshiping in the rain. The bird doesn't have a car, and the bird doesn't have a closet with new clothes that hadn't been worn. But the bird was still chirping in the rain. And I said, God, I thank you this morning. I said, I got to give it to the people this morning. I got to give it to the Lodora and, and Mother Tanks and Stephanie Brown and Buki and Vicky. And I've got to give it to Gisela and Betty Newell. I've got to give it to you guys and the 74 of you that I see. I've got to give it to you. Because when you look at the life of Joseph, 
when you look at this brother this morning, this brother um, had, a, had a huge dream. He had huge aspiration. God gave him a vision. Oh, bless the Lord. God gave him something uh, to hold on uh, in the pits of his life. Watch this. In the pit, yeah, his brothers lowered him down in his pit. And the Bible says that they saw him coming and they said, here comes this dreamer. Here comes Sharonda Giles. Here comes Jocelyn. Here comes Denise. Here comes Melanie Rankins. Here come all of them this morning with all of the dreams that they think that's going to come to pass. Oh, bless the Lord. And the enemy, oh my God, the enemy wants to throw you in a pit. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. The enemy wants to lower you in a pit. The enemy wants to stop your dream. And he thinks, oh, bless the Lord. The enemy thinks that if he can put you in the pit, <laughs> that he's going to stop you from singing in the rain. Oh, come on, Lord. Speak to him this morning. But I declare and decree to somebody this morning that is watching me, to somebody this morning that is listening this morning, don't let nobody, oh, my God, don't let nobody stop you from singing in the rain. It may be raining and you may be in the pit. And I know that the pit may be lonely. Oh, God. I know the pit may be lonely, Roderick Thomas. Watch me, God. Oh, watch this. He said, I know the pit may be cold. And I know the pit may be uh, dark. But somebody needs to shout, I'm still going to sing in the rain. Yeah. I know the pit, wherever you are right now, may be uncomfortable. I know the pit may be terrifying. And I know the pit may be terrorizing. I know the pit, hey amen, I know it's not where you want to be right now. But I want to shout to somebody this morning to still trust in the process. Oh, bless the Lord. Trust in the process. I know we're talking about trust this week. And I know there's somebody this morning that's watching, uh, watching this morning or listening this morning or that's going to share it with somebody else this morning that's in their particular plight and in their pit. I want to tell you this morning. That there is a blessing even in the pit. <laughs> Amen. Watch this. God, look, God had me to pin this this morning too. The enemy wants you to be pitiful <laughs> in the pit. Let me say it again. The enemy wants you to be pitiful while you're in your pit. But trust the process. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it, my brothers and sisters. Your pit may be full of all types of stuff. Oh, speak this morning. Speak to Shirley Tate and speak to, uh, to Buki this morning and Stephanie Thurman, uh, Washington. Speak this morning to Aretha Fields. Watch this. Uh, your pit may be full of all types of stuff. And I'm talking about Joseph, but now I want to bring it home to you. Yeah, Joseph, Joseph, you know the story and I'm going to talk about it later on. You know the story. You know that he came out on, he came out on the other side good, but somebody right now is in the middle of the pit right now. Mm -hmm. Speak, Lord. Minister Stewart, you may be in the pit right now. Oh, God, but hear me, hear me. He said, well, what, are, what are you talking about, Pastor Cunningham? What are you talking about, Pastor Thurman? You, you see, 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 Joseph pit, his pit was open. Yeah, yeah, his, his pit was open uh, to the elements. Yeah, his pit was open to some stuff that was, that was surrounding him. Easily, while, if you read it, easily while his pit was open and while his brothers over there were, were, were trying to conjure up what they were going to do, the pit was still open to the elements. Yeah, snakes could have gotten in the pit. The Bible doesn't say that, but it could have easily happened. Watch this. Snakes could have gotten in the pit. Scorpions could have been with him down there in the pit. Yeah, vultures. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Why his brother was conjuring vultures. Somebody, watch this. The enemy is waiting on somebody to die while they're looking down at you in the pit. And they are trying to see how you're going to respond to them throwing you in it. Oh, bless the Lord. I'm preaching better than you're saying amen. They're watching how you're going to respond to being thrown in a place that you don't want to be. <laughs> they're watching you, Justin. Annie Redmond and Shirley Carr and Paula Woods. Aunt Jean, they're watching you. Uh, how you're going to respond to them throwing you in the pit. Yeah, they're, they're conjuring up stuff right now. Oh, my God. See, you, you don't know the intimate uh, details of what's going on behind closed doors of your life. 
You know what? You don't know what conversations are being had uh, in your life. But I want to encourage somebody this morning. Don't worry about it. Just trust the process. <laughs> somebody need to shout right there. Somebody need to shout right there. Somebody need to shout. Trust the process. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody put this right here. God put this on my heart too. Uh, something good is going to come out of this. <laughs> oh, I feel like shouting this morning. God is awesome. Yeah. They lowered him down in the pit. And you got to understand, you got to understand somebody need, somebody need to shout, shout right now that you're still going to sing in the rain, that you're still going to sing in the pit, that you're still going to praise God when it's uncomfortable, that you're still going to hold on when things are jacked up, that you're still going to believe God for greater, that you still believe God is going to take you higher, that you know that sometimes it, it don't feel good and it don't. It, it doesn't you want you don't want to be some in some places, but you've got to know that you've got God on your side. And, and when you've got God, you are the majority. Oh, bless the Lord. When you've got God, you've got a God that loves you best. When you've got God, you've got someone that is going to be there in the pit with you. When you've got God, you may be feeling pitiful, but God says, look, I want you to I'm going to fill your pit with some praise. I'm going to protect you in the pit. I'm going to cover you in the pit. I'm going to hold you in the pit. I'm going, to I'm going to provide for you while you're in the pit. So if you got to go and when you go, understand and know, yeah, that something good is going to come out of this. Oh, bless the Lord. Hey, man, something good. Hey, Sarah Regina, something good is going to come out of this. And hey, wherever you are, yeah, you may be praying for uh, somebody in your family. Understand that something good is going to come out of it. Come here, prodigal son. Yeah. I'm going. Our daddy give me, give me everything that belongs to me. Oh, wait a minute. How I'm going to give you stuff that I'm going to give, um, that I'm going to give you, but I'm not even dead yet. Son, what are you talking about? But you know what? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it to you so that you can go ahead and learn a lesson. And the prodigal son went on out there and squandered his money, lived a riotous life, lived a promiscuous life, found himself uh, eating the husk of the hogs. And he came to himself. Raheem, watch this, brother. He came to himself. Daphne, watch this. The Bible says that he came back to himself. He said, look, does not my father have uh, plenty to spare? I'm going back to my father, tell him I'm sorry. And I'm going to ask him to hire me as one of his servants. I'm not even good enough to be his son anymore. But watch this. He learned some stuff in the pit. <laughs> he learned, he learned that God is one that has it all. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to God. The earth uh, is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to God. And he said, you know what? I'm going back home. And I believe that somebody right now listening today need to shout, God, I'm coming back home. You need to be praying for that son, praying for that daughter to say, you know what? I'm coming back home. I'm going back home. But you got to understand something that it was in, it was in the pig pen. <laughs> that he learned who God really was. It was in the pit, oh God, that he understood that God was right there. And I would encourage somebody this morning that is in the fight of your life. I would encourage somebody that is going uh, through some tumultuous moments. Yeah, I want to encourage somebody that right, right now that has some arduous days ahead. Yeah, to just trust the process. Yeah, trust the process. When I look at, when I look at Brother Floyd, yeah, and everything uh, that he went through, yeah, and how the world, literally, how the world is being turned upside down. Yeah, this brother had a gold casket being pulled by white horses in a white chariot. Yeah, somebody, and I, I've heard all types of stories about George's life and everything that he did prior. See, people always will try to hold you down. People always will try to bring up your past. But watch this. If you stay the course, yeah, your story, your story will be told by countless thousands. They will remember your name. Aretha, your name will be remembered. Annie Redmond, your name will be remembered. Vicky, your name will be remembered. And I want to tell you right now that just because you've been lowered down in your pit. Let me, let me retract that. It's just because you've been thrown in the pit. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even lower him. They threw him in the pit. They threw my brother in the pit. But watch this. When you get to Genesis, the 50th chapter. Oh, hallelujah, there is, there is a story, there is a, a silver lining, there is glory after this. Hey, yeah, hallelujah, when they threw him in the pit, chapter 50 is on the way. 
Oh, hallelujah. You may be 45, you may be 65, you may be 75, but, you're, but there's still chapters in your life, sister. There's still chapters to be wrote in your life, brother. If you can just hang on in the pit, yeah, you're going to look back and everybody, amen, that threw you in. Everybody that thought you were gonna not going to make it. Everybody that thought you were not going to get out of it. Amen. Chapter 50 is coming. Oh, hallelujah. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Chapter 50 is coming. Yeah, he looked back at his brothers. Long story short, they looked back at his brother and they said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for our good. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> and I want to tell you this morning that whatever you're going through, whatever particular situation you have found yourself in, Keep trusting the process. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on. You need to trust the process. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about, Pastor Thurman? Because you got to understand. You've got to understand that every devotion. See, God, God, God have. He, he's, he's allowed me to affectionately feel the weight of everything else that everybody else goes to goes through, too. Jesus, as I told you once before, is not removed. He's not removed from the cares that we have. He went through it all. Yeah, he bore it all. He knows everything about your situation. If you feel that you can't handle it, if you've got a troubled mind, he's been there. If you've got uh, things going on in your life, he's been there. If you've got a troubled spirit, He's been there. What are you talking about? Jesus didn't have a troubled spirit. Go to the Garden of Gethsemane. There he prayed profusely. He prayed because he knew that his hour uh, had come. He knew that he was getting ready uh, to go through the most grueling process mm, of his life. But he trusted the process. He kept his eyes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. He kept his eyes on Calvary because he knew on this Worship Wednesday. Oh my God, that Ida Ruth was going to need him. Mm. He knew that Annie Redmond was going to need him. He knew that Citrus was going to need him. And mother and father Tankson was going to need him. And Stephanie Brown and LaVon was going to need him. So he hung in there. Yeah. He hung <laughs> in there. Mm. And I want to encourage somebody this morning on this Worship Wednesday to trust the process that something good is going to come out of it and hang in there. Those are my final words for you guys this morning. Those are my final words. Trust the process. Something good is going to come out of it and hang in there. Amen. Father God, we thank you this morning for your hand that is upon our lives. We thank you, Lord God, for your word mm, that is so powerful. God, it's like a double-edged sword. It cuts all the way down to the bone. It even cuts down to the marrow. And we appreciate you so much, Lord God, for giving us a word that, that helps us to stand strong, uh, help, helps us to hold on. And God, we're going to trust the process. We're keeping our eyes on you, Lord God. Come here, Romans 8.28, for we know that all things work together hmm, for the good of them that love the Lord. Here I am. Here we are. Amen. We know that all things work together. A-L-L. -L. And God, we are trusting in you when we can't trace you. We're trusting in you, Lord God, in the pits of our lives. We're trusting you, Lord God, and we're going to continue to sing in the rain. God, we're going to not only sing, we're going to dance in the rain. And God, we love you. We honor you. We bless you. We thank you. In Jesus' precious holy name. Somebody shout with me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, come on. Go ahead and sing in the rain right there. Come on. I'm done three minutes early, but look, this is worship. I want you to worship. God will have you to worship you. He woke you up, or if you're just getting off of work, you're getting off of work, or wherever you are, this is your time to give God praise. We may not see tomorrow. This is your opportunity right now <laughs> to give God some glory. Come on, somebody. Come on, praise him, somebody. Yeah, he is worthy of all the praise. The Bible teaches me, Psalm 34, that I'm going to bless him. And I need somebody right now. God needs somebody. Yeah, to, to. let's touch and agree. Mm. Let's touch and agree. 
That every stronghold in your life will be broken. Let's praise him right now. That every fetter and chain that's on you, I pray right now that it's falling off. Worship him now. Bless him now. Come on. Amen. We got two more minutes. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise God right now. Oh, bless him right now. <laughs> Wherever you are, give God a shout. Yeah, wake up the house. Oh, bless the Lord right now. Sing. Somebody need to be singing. Just like the bird. Sing in the rain this morning. Come on, somebody. Bless the Lord with everything that's in you. Bless his holy name. I believe, watch this, I told you that your praise is your weapon. And I believe that if you worship and praise God, oh God, that the mountains have to get out of the way. That the Jericho walls have to come crumbling down. Somebody need to pray. You're getting ready to go to the doctor and you don't know you have some reservation about your report. If you praise him, I believe, oh God, hallelujah, that the doctor is going to look at that report again and say, I got it wrong. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, somebody. One more minute and we're going to get out of your way. Bless the Lord this morning. Come on, somebody. Give God a shout of victory. Give him a shout of praise. Bless his holy name. Hey, wherever you are, bless him right now. Give him the glory that is due his name because he's able He's worthy. And we ought to praise him right now. We ought to thank him right now. Amen. Amen. I pray God bless your day. And I pray that your praise breaks the chain of the enemy. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll connect again tonight at 715. May God bless your day. Have a wonderful worship Wednesday.